Hey, welcome to the studio. So we are deep in the heart of summer. It is sweltering where I live. I'm going to do a painting that will always remind me of summer. I can't think of anything else in the summer other than the bomb pop, the red, white, and blue, the firecracker, whatever you call it in your area where I grew up, this was a bomb pop. I'm going to attempt to do this. You're going to join me. Join me right back here on the table. I can't wait to do this. Check it out. All right, here we go. Here is my reference photo. And uh, I'm, I'm just looking at this, quickly looking at my palette today. I'm using my Windsor & Newton uh, Travel 10 here. And I've got my colors uh, taped up here. I'm just kind of looking to see what colors I could use. This looks like a good Windsor blue for me. And maybe a Windsor red. I might use all Windsor colors on this one. Just trying to get that done. Uh, I am using, in addition to the Windsor and Newton paints, uh, to do this, I will be using Strathmore watercolor uh, wind, windmill wind power paper. This is, I'm not sure what size this is. This is a six by nine. I just figured since we're doing something that's that shape, this would be the uh, perfect pad of paper to do that on. I've drawn it in pretty dark with a 4B pencil. I hope you can see that. Uh, I'm going to be using my Zen Art uh, paintbrushes tonight. And when we're done, maybe we're going to see if we have to just put a little bit of highlight on there. Give it some uh, little frost on here a little bit. Maybe we're going to use a white pen. So let me put this in the corner. Zoom in just a little bit so you can see it. There's my, let's do it this way. There's my paint, there's my picture. I think we've all got it in the frame. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna start with a bigger brush. This is a number nine. And I'm gonna get everything wet except for my bomb pops. Here we go. Just dribbling on a little bit of water there. I'm picking up just a bit of the uh, graphite in the pencil as I go around. Just getting the paper wet and I'm going to lay in a, a background uh, first instead of waiting till the last minute to do this. If you see me reaching up over here, that's where my water bottle is. I've also got a trusty sponge to dab my brush on so I can help to regulate the water. I've got a little bit of paper around here too. We can blot things on. I'm not sure where that's setting. I'm sure at some point I'll need to know and I'm going to jet off camera to grab that. But for the time being, I'm okay with, with what we got. I'm going to use just a little bit of Windsor Violet here. I'm going to water that down even a bit more. There we go. And I'm going to use this as my background. I looked my picture and the uh, the tray that this is sitting on is a, it's a little purple. I thought it would be nice to give it a nice uh, purple background. should be a, a nice contrast, a nice warm purple background to the cold, cold popsicles that we're painting. There we go. And I'm just, I'm not trying to do anything real specific. Uh, with this or get real fancy. I'm just getting that on there just like so. And that's going to put it on now. It's just going to give it a nice chance to smooth out and look real nice uh, by the time we're done. It's going to be a, just a, a nice, soft, easy background. There we go. You can see that's that's a nice, nice little background for us. Now it does leave everything a little bit wet. I did uh, put it on there pretty thick. And you can see if I can push down that my paper is bubbling up just a little bit. We'll, we'll handle that when we get to it. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to dry just a little bit, I'm going to mix up a little bit of my Windsor Blue. Holy cow. Hang on just a second. I've got my... A sheet upside down. There we go. 
my Windsor Blue is this one. Put that there, and I guess I'm going to use this as the blue here, the, the raspberry part of my popsicle. And I'm just going to make a nice puddle there while we're waiting. A little bit more. That's good. I'm trying to put layers on, or color on, in a little bit thinner layer now. I have a tendency to go really heavy, really, really fast. I know it's hard for you to believe, anybody who's seen my channel before, and I've talked about trying to put things on a little easier, a little more lightly in the past with various, <laughs> with various, admittedly, various success. Uh, but I'm committed to it. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go, it's still going to be a nice painting. We're going to like it. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to try to do that. Okay, so this hasn't dried quite as much as I had hoped. Uh, I'm going to pause the video now and get the hair dryer out so you don't have to hear it, and I'll be right back in one minute. Okay, 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 wonderful. We are back. Everything is dried, and you can see we have this nice, wonderful... Um, purple background. I'm just going to wet all of this now. Actually, that's a that's a lie. I'm not going to wet all of this. I'm going to wet everything but the sticks. So all of, oh, looks like I didn't get quite all of the blue out of my brush. That's okay. I'm going to wet all of these popsicle so we can work with them all at once. There we go. I don't mind that little bit of blue. If you can see that in the video there's just a little touch of blue in here and the reason I don't mind that is if you look at our picture here our white uh, ice cream or a confection isn't all that white anyway so if it has just a touch of blue uh, so much the better there we go and I've got that popsicle all nice and wet now Ooh, shoo. There it goes, <clears throat> and that's going to give us the opportunity to play with some colors. I'm going to step down a, 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 a wow, I can't say anything. I'm going to step down a size in my paintbrush. This is now a number seven round. I'm going to go into my blue mixture here. I'm going to be a little careful. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to drop it on here slowly, 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 working out, I don't know, about that far. Something like that. I'm going to end up having to go back over top of this, which is totally fine. We're going to add another layer on here. Eventually, we're just dropping in some color at this point. There we go. There's the first part of that one and the one back in the back here. Let's just put some color on. And where do we go out to here? I don't know. That looks like a good place. And then out to there. And I don't know, maybe out to there or something. As I remember these, there never really was a hard line of demarcation between what was blue and what was white and what was white and what was red. So if our colors run just a bit into here, we're not, we're not gonna sweat it. It's gonna happen. It'll be fine. I'm going to rinse my brush, get as much blue out as I can. That Windsor Blue is pretty strong. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to come into my red, and I'm going to start at the, the nose, and take it back to about there. I might leave a little bit, uh, a lot, I might leave quite a bit of white on our rocket pop we can live with that that's actually not too bad I don't think and now here while I'm doing this and it's wet so here's the thing I can 
I can paint in the red on the front, right? I can paint in the red on the front popsicle, but I can't make a really good, whoops, that needs to go more like that. I can't make a really good demarcation between the two popsicles. That's where our white pen is probably going to come into play. If I painted this in a little different style, um, if I were to do it, you know, dry on dry, uh, dry on dry, dry on wet, um, dry on wet, dry on, if I were to paint it normally without being all wet and damp and everything before I get myself all confused, uh, then I think uh, we would be able to, to make that line of demarcation there, you know, a lot better. But I'm doing it a little, a little fast, a little wet and wet. I want the colors to kind of run together a little bit because I think that with these popsicles, the colors do run together a little bit. So I'm okay with it being a little bit wet, wet, wet here. Okay, and now I've done my red part. I think it fairly well matches what's up here. I'm gonna come back, even though the blue isn't totally dry, and I'm gonna start not putting in highlights necessarily, but I'm gonna come in and put in my low lights where I think there ought to be more color on these. I think there ought to be more right there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to worry so much about any hard edges that I have here but focus on where I think the uh, the darkness needs to go Sometimes I get carried away, I will admit, I get a little carried away in uh, getting all the right color on and it, trying to get it on in the right shade, in the right spot, too early on. And I want to try to break my habit of that. Um, and so this is going to be uh, one step in doing that. Let's see, I got, just got some shadow. I and mean, we're going to come back and put more of the shadow on this uh, popsicle. So if we don't get some exactly right, if we get some in a spot that maybe it shouldn't be, we're all good with that. There we go, I think that, that looks pretty good there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top popsicle. I almost said topsicle. That would've been funny, call it a topsicle. And it looks like the top is not quite as dry as the popsicle on the bottom. But it's probably going to be just about dry enough for what we're going to do with it. That color is going to come out to there. I know underneath here, I've got to put some green, in, a green, I've got to put some blue. A little bit of shadow under there, a little bit back there, and I think our popsicle is starting to take shape there. We've got some definite highlights in here. We've got some definite spots where it needs to be a little darker, and we're going to come back and get some of those. While I'm waiting for this part to dry up here, I'm going to mix a little color. Oh, what do we want to do? I'm going to do, I'm not going to use ochre this time. I'm going to look at a little raw sienna. Oop. Come on, there we go. A little raw sienna I think is looking good and I'm going to put a little bit of raw umber in there and I'm going to see how that goes. Raw sienna and raw umber and I'll bet you I could use that as a popsicle color. A popsicle color. I bet I can use that as a popsicle stick color. How's that? Maybe I'll learn to talk someday. And I need to paint the entire popsicle stick because the entire stick is that color and then we'll go and add some additional color where we think the shadowing ought to be on there. How about that? That sounds like a good way to do it. Let me get a little more of this color made up. 
And if you're wondering, yes, I'm stalling just a little bit because popsicle isn't quite dry here. We're not going to let it worry us. You know what happened at the factory? I went just out of my lines there. At the factory, some of that uh, blue, <laughs> whatever, sugar water uh, dripped right down that uh, handle and stained it a little bit. That's the story I'm going with. If you want to feel free to steal that story uh, for your own painting, I give you permission. If you want to uh, make up one of your own, that's fine too. I won't even charge you a commission on using my story. So I'm, I'm just looking back and this bottom uh, popsicle down here seems to be drying a lot more quickly than the one on the top. So we're going to work on that. And I'm just going back and I'm putting in some additional blue to add some Add some more tonal value, make it a little bit darker. I could even, oops, that's the wrong color blue. I could even darken up my mix a little bit more if I wanted to. This underneath here is a really a pretty deep dark blue. And right up under here, that's pretty dark. There we go, and I could add a a little bit more darkness down there and and the more pronounced you make the darks and the more light you make the lights the more contrast you have in this kind of the 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 better it's going to look it doesn't always sound uh like it would but we need a lot of contrast in here uh so many times when we paint watercolors we paint and everything ends up being a similar value, not always the same value, but a similar value. And then we, you, we look at the painting uh, a week down the line or two weeks down the line and, and we think, holy cow, I should have, should have really darkened that up or I should have done something uh, different with that to, to add the contrast. And uh, so for me, another thing I'm working on right now is keeping up contrast. Making my darkers darker, letting my lighters, my lighters, my lights be a little bit lighter. And uh, just going from there and, and trusting that as I'm doing it, things are going to work out for us. Um, let me go back in here. I want to, let's see, I want to get some of this on the top while it's still wet. I can totally do that. Just let that... There we go, and you can see as I'm doing this, I hope you can see well enough as I'm doing this that some of that dark really is a good thing in there. It's working for us. Now I might have gotten this part a little too dark. You can always go back in and with a little extra water, smooth that out a little bit. But now we, we have some ridges in there now, which is exactly what we want. Let's see, winds are red. You get all that blue out of there. I got some blue in my red. I don't want that. There we go. And I'm going to try to do the same thing here. It's still just a little damp, but I'm going to try. Let's see, I need something right in there, and I know I need it down there somehow across the top one bold stroke right across the top there how can I get this right over here that way let me get this a little I need to I'm just gonna blend this out just a little bit before it runs. I'm going to make sure it blends the way I want it to blend. Just not everywhere, just in a couple of places really. See right down here we've got a nice dark we can put on. There we go. 
and I'm going to take a little bit of my purple that we used in our background and I'm going to put a little bit of my blue with that just to blue it up just a little bit and I'm going to make that pretty watery that might be too much purple actually that might not be yeah I need a little more blue than that there we go so it's a much more purpley than the blue we're using over here and I'm going to use that to put some shadow on our lollipop in the white area with any luck that will we'll make it look just like it's in a little bit of shadow let's see I got a shadow that comes in here somewhere I know I got one right up there I know I got one underneath here the whole thing back there can be in shadow I'm gonna put a little bit kind of like that I think a little one there oh and it's starting to look like it's got stripes on it all right I'm just gonna pull this out I'm just going I'm just drying my brush off a little bit getting the amount of color I want on that I'm going to give a little shadow, a little shadow, a little dark area up here. There we go. I know I have the light coming from over there, but I just want to give a little bit of that value. There we go. Ooh, it's looking good. You're going to want to take a bite out of this in just a second. Hoo-hoo! Alright, what do I need to do yet? I'm looking at this. I'm looking at it to see where I need to clean it up. I've got to clean up a little bit down here, back on the back side back here. A little bit on the shadow there. Alright. I'm going to bring that down here. I don't want to cover up everything. I don't want to make just big stripes on here because I don't think we need big stripes on here you know it would be so easy where we see a you know where we see a dip in the ring here to just absolutely kill that with uh, you know a, a dark shadow color but I don't I don't want to do that I want I want to make it a little bit more homegrown color here there we go I'm thinking that's looking better and you know what we need to do we need to go back to our raw umber and raw sienna come on get wet there we go because we need to put an edge on our popsicle sticks actually that's not going to be quite dark enough and I need something just a little thinner I'm going to go with what am I moving to I'm moving to a number two round I'm actually going to put a little burnt sienna in here if I can get it going add a little water there we go I think that's going to do it a little burnt sienna right on the side there I just put it right in our mix Let's see if I can get it this way. There we go. That's gotten it. There we go. I heard myself say, "There we go." Uh, oh, I hope I haven't been saying that. I got a I got a comment from a viewer saying. You can't just say there you go a hundred times video. It doesn't help anybody, and I don't I don't mean to say there you go uh, all that often. 
In fact, I didn't realize I really said it that much, but I guess that I do, and I just caught myself, and so I'm going to slow down on that a little bit. Now what I'm doing now is I think I got my colors in here just a little too dark. The paint isn't quite, quite, quite dry yet. I know I shouldn't go back and do it. I should wait till it's dry and then go back and, uh, and lift it out. But I think I can just scooch in there like that just a little bit. And by the time it dries, it'll be fine. I'm gonna put a little color in there. I know, I know, I, I know. I should have waited for the whole thing to dry and then gone back and do the whole thing over again. I don't know. Um, I'm liking it. I'll be honest, I'm not loving it. But I'm liking it. I think if I sat and worked with it for a while more, I would like it more and more and more. I think part of it is just my shading. If I get that right, I think it would be a lot better. I, I'm liking the blue down here on this one, and I, I like the blue there. It's the red that's giving me fits. Let's see, I'm going to pull this down. Maybe that'll help. Make that look like that goes down a little further. Well, that might help. Let's see. That's not so bad. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stop fiddling right there. I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and add a few highlights onto it. Just one moment. Okay, I think I figured out what was bothering me with my popsicles. Uh, it is that at the point of this one, I have a big line there, and I need not to have that big line. I need to have it painted in something like that. We're just going to put that paint right over the old, and I'm going to take a hard edge off of it. Just, oh, there we go. You know what? It's starting to look better and better. I'm liking it more and more. The more I put this on, that was totally what was throwing me off. There's that one. And just let me put a little bit more on here. Oh, I think that makes it look a lot better. Oh. Much. Oh, I'm so much more happy with it now. I'm just going to pull that hard edge back so it doesn't... Oh, that makes it look so much better. Uh, and now I'm going to get... Uh, this is a white Uniball pen. And I don't know how much I'm going to need this. But if I do, I'm going to need it a little bit here. Just right along some of... These edges, I'm not even sure how well it's going to turn out on the blue. I know it'll turn out on the red. Just a few squiggle lines here and there to designate that this is cold, cold, cold. It's frosting over just a little bit. There we go. Something like that. And I think I am done with this painting. I'm just going to sign this. And call it good. There it is. There's my rendition of some summertime popsicles. I hope you enjoyed painting with me in the studio. I enjoyed having you here. I can't wait to see you in the studio again. Thanks for stopping by. Good night.